Anyway, we, we say hello to uh, the Power TV guys uh, uh, there. And uh, this has the telecast always on Monday night at uh, 7 p.m. So uh, we're looking forward to this game. And, of course, we've got some drones floating around <laughs> Clive Berghofer Stadium. So if you see us or um, in, in the drones going around, so we'll have some spectacular photos uh, here today for... Uh, uh, for Power TV, so we'll see how we go from there, okay? So uh, they're just about to come out. Do you think we should take a break and then come back? Uh, or yeah, we'll take, take a quick break, Obi. We'll take a quick break. This is the OB and Cookie Call. Hutchies lives here. We're locals, just like you. To us, construction is really about people, not just bricks and concrete. It's people who bring our structures to life and build communities. We stick by the people who make communities. From Toowoomba Rugby League to RACQ Lifelight Rescue Service, Milne Bay Military Challenge and the Toowoomba Tennis International, Hutchies is proud to back the people who support the region. Join us, we're just about to have kickoff for the Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day between the South Tigers and the Gundawindi uh, boards, the OB and Cookie Call, and uh, South have come out onto the field, uh, uh, Nev, and they're going to be running away from the scoreboard and going to receive the ball. Yeah, and their side, uh, just go through with the surnames, Namana is at fullback, uh, Howard and Wilson on the wings, uh, Packer, Ryan in the centres. Uh, Austin and Sheedy in the halves. Uh, Whitaker, uh, Hearn and Laird in the front row. Court, Foster, uh, Hearn are the back row. Harbison, Murphy, Benham and McCormick are the bench. And out comes the Gunder Windy Boars, led out by Carl Clement, uh, Carl Clement or Clement. And their side, uh, Dave McGrady at full back. We've got Brown and Davis on the wings. Uh, the McGrady's in the, in the centres, Rick and, and Malcolm. And we've got uh, Jason Saunders, Mickey Hazard, Callum Skinner, Ashley B Jarrett comes in for Joel, Joel Curry, Mark Offendale, and we've got Munro, Sampson, Clement in the backs, in the back in the back row. Then we've got Lowe, McGrady, uh, sorry, Lowe, Dennison, and Ray off the bench. And uh, Aaron Williams is the ref. And uh, the two uh, guys on the sidelines at net. Hi there, Kevin Arn, father and son, Sorry, out of... Pittsworth, that's where they come from, although they live these days, they own Cook Soft Drink out there, so if you ever want a good drink, buy a Cook Soft Drink, but, so it's a father and son team, young Ben, it's his A-grade debut, officiating on the line, we know Ben from playing the Bugle out of Pittsworth that night, they've got thousands and thousands of you, but as it, we Here's get kick, kick off, off mate. underway, so it goes down deep in the little halfback for the, uh, for the Southern Suburb Tigers, Austin, he gets it on to Isaac Laird, he pumps it forward, and he's going to be tackled 18 metres off out of his own try line, the 12 goes to dummy half, which is Foster for the Tigers. He takes a scoot out of dummy half and passes it on to Hearn. He takes a gain of five metres. He's tackled directly in front of the post, 22 metres out. It looks like Josh Foster, he goes for a run out of dummy half. He's 30 metres out, still in the front line. Whitaker was lining up to take a ball, but he just threw him a dummy. But he's been hurt in the tackle. Foster first hit up and he's been hurt. This time Whitaker says, give it here, I'll take it forward. Makes a great gain of eight metres. They're 38 metres off his own line. They're staying to the middle of the post there. Court goes to dummy half. He's looking for options. He comes out the back there to the left. He looks for Wade Austin. Wade Austin gives a great kick down the middle of the field. And it's going to tumble down there to Dave McGrady at the back there. He finds a winger over there on Harold Brown. Harold Brown takes a scoot on that far touch line, but the Southern Suburbs defence yeah, is there good, in numbers. Yeah, good set of six there by the Young Tigers. A good clearing kick by uh, Young Austin and a good chase as well, Neville. Mate, he's got a great kicking game and is backed up by a great chase from the Southern Suburbs Tigers. As we see, the Gundawindi Boars come 35 metres out off their line. They give it to Offendale. Offendale just powers through and he nearly sneaks his head through, but he's going to be tackled well and truly by Whitaker and Hearn. Ethan Court over there as well. They pump forward on that far oh. touch line. That was a great tackle by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Whitaker. So we get Jarrett go to dummy half. He gets McGrady going down the blind end side there, and he makes a great, great gain of 10 metres there. He's tackled 
Just over the halfway mark, 10 metres in from the far touch line. They go down the short side through McGrady. McGrady gets it on to Malcolm McGrady. He dummies, he goes down the line, but he's going to be wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs. Yeah, Knights, but... Jacob Whitaker again, Neville. Look, great defence there by Whitaker. He stopped a couple of um, half breaks, and they get the they get the change over there, Nev. I've been really impressed with Whitaker this year, Ovi. He's just... His work rate is right up there. He's taking it on his own back to lead this Southern Suburbs forward pack forward, and he's doing a great job. So, anyway, we have the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They've got the ball, and Mitch Murphy, he takes a hit up, and he's going to be tackled 25 metres out in front of the post. He's in the middle corridor. They come to the left-hand side through Austin. Austin gets it on the lead, and he makes a gain of five metres, but he's snapped in half by Carl Clement from the Gundawindi Boars. The referee said for a second effort, they're going to be penalised there, the... Gun to Windy Boar, so the Tigers are going to take a relieving kick for penalty. As we come up, Angus Hearn, he reefs it out over the touch line and makes a gain of 20 metres. That gets him out of trouble there. Yeah, no drop ball. Uh, we've had three sets of six, uh, and we've got uh, Tigers on the advantage at the moment. Okay, Hart Dixon gets it on to Austin. Austin gets it on to Laird, and he takes it back towards the middle of the field. Foster goes to dummy half. He's saying, ref, please get up and let us play. He comes out to Mitch Murphy out the back there. Mitch Murphy stammers and goes towards the line and makes a great run, but the Gundawindi Boars are going to be dominant in the tackle. They roll him over on his back. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. They go to the short side. Austin Gelson gets it on to Packer. Packer gets it on to the winger over there in Jones. No, not Jones. Young Riley Wilson, but he's going to be tackled on the far touch line. The Tigers are 22 metres out. They come back towards the open. Austin gets it on to the 11 in the court. Dylan Court, he takes it back towards the post. He looks for a quick play of the ball. Packer goes to dummy half. He looks for Austin. He's looking for options. He finds Riley Wilson coming back in towards the post, but he's going to be snapped in half there by the Gundawindi defence. Foster goes to dummy half. They go to the short side again. Namana. Namana puts a little chip kick in him, but he's going to be tackled. Oh, look, great set of six again by the Tigers. They even put some opportunities. With half a luck, they would have scored. And look in, they're backing up with some really good defence so far in this game. It's still nil all after four minutes. Mate, the Tigers are very well structurally sound over you. They've just got to stay in their patience and get that ball going forward. And hopefully pick up a try as we see the Gunderwindy boards. Come back at us here in the middle of the post there. So we find Jarrett go to dummy half. He gets it on to Offendale. Offendale takes a hit up towards the middle of the post there. He struggles to get the play of the ball. The rest, it's a fifth and last. He comes back this way to Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady reefs the ball down. The wonderful kick. We've got Ethan Hearn playing on the wing in the number 13. He takes it 20 metres off his own line, 10 metres in from the touch line. He comes up and it looks like the little four in... Saunders, no, Tom, no, Tom Davis. Tom Davis. He's the one with the headgear. He's, no. he's playing uh, at outside the uh, uh, centre at the moment. But good yards here by the oh, Tigers here. Not some ferocious defence there, Neville. Mate, they're getting great ball, the, the, the Tigers, as we see Jacob Whitaker go up towards and he lumbers forward and takes a great run, makes a gain of 10 metres for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. So we've got the 12. He's playing hooker to Foster. He's gone into the dummy half and he finds Laird coming back towards the middle of the field there. So Foster goes to dummy half. He's going to go out the back. He's looking for Austin. He, he finds Jasnamana. Jasnamana puts a huge kick up towards the post. It's oh. lost in the in the uprights there. And it nearly that, hit the uprights too, Nev, didn't it? It, 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 it certainly did. It Dave was, McGrady it was a kick it and a half, wasn't it? And mate, he went up and up and up. And Dave McGrady, he just watched it, watched it come down across the crossbar, lost sight of it, and it's rolled out the back. Yeah, look, uh, both sides have not uh, have completed all their sets of. Uh, six at the moment. There's been six sets and uh, Gunder Windy under the pump early in this match. It's nil all after six minutes, uh, Neville. They just haven't got the ball over here as we look for the 20 metre restart. And it looks like it's Munro. He hits the lumbers four and takes a great run up. We go to half. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He's looking for options. He's going to go out the left hand side and we get uh, Samson. Samson lumbers four and he's going to be tackled 35 metres out from his line, 15 metres in from the far touch line. Jarrett goes to dummy half, gets it to Offendale, coming back towards the middle of the field. He struggles for it. He's strong. He's a very good footballer, but South dominates the tackle. Jarrett goes to dummy half. They come back to the right here. And it's uh, Clement. Clement. Clement makes a great tackle. Ends on his front, gets a quick play of the ball. And the Munro. And Munro, he takes it. Samson comes back towards the middle of the field there. The Gunderwindy Boars are going to put in a huge kick through Dave McGrady. This will test out the fullback, Hayden Packer. Oh! And he's got the ball. It was high. It was a wonderful kick. Uh, almost the replica of what Jazz Demana did the other end of the field. It was right near the goalpost. And uh, I think, uh, what was it, young... Uh, Hayden uh, Packer. Uh, young Packer. He just uh, clipped his fingertips and he did a little knock-on. Three 
metres out from his own line. A CNR concrete in Coach Killer. Now the SK drilling scrum, Neville. Oh, we've got the gun to windy boards to feed the scrum 10 metres out, 9 metres out, right in front of the post. They put the ball in, it goes out the back. Mickey has his stand at the 5 8 position. He gives it to Malcolm McGrady. Malcolm McGrady's still standing. He's going towards the line. He's going to be tackled 5 metres out from the line. As it goes to dummy half, he's looking for options. He finds Callum Skinner. Callum Skinner comes back towards the middle of the post. He's going to be tackled. He's looking to find his front. He gets a quick play of the ball. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He finds Clement. Clement coming back towards the post on the inside, but he's going to be wrapped up by the Tigers. Great defence by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They go to the Uh, Neville, and then there's a little knock on there. I think referee Aaron Williams has just seen, but look, look, very good scrambling defence. I was going to say after Callum uh, Skinner went for the try line there, uh, Neville, you would think they would use their big boys just one after another, but they didn't on this occasion. And uh, look, there's a bit of back chat, is there? No, it's a change. Just change over. The update. So look, a uh, great game so far. Nil all after eight minutes. It's certainly tough in the middle of there as we see Jacob Whitaker take the first one. He makes a great run of 12 metres right in front of the post. 29 metres out off his own line. This time Mitch Murphy, he runs but he slips over. He only makes a gain of 5 metres. We get Foster to go to dummy half. He comes to the left hand side and Austin. Austin looks for options. He finds Hartnickson coming down this blind hand side but there's three tacklers in the gun to win his balls defence. Foster goes to dummy half. He's touched it, so they're all on side. Next to me, he slips over. He's having a hell of a time back there, Odie. He sure is, and it looks like Jazz Naman has taken the kick. Oh, look at this tackling from the young Tigers. They drive David McGrady back inside his 10 metres there, and I can tell you that... Uh, uh, that uh, Jazz Namana, I was saying, is taking over the kicking role from Wade Austin uh, in this game, Neville. He's a wonderful player, Jazz Namana, and he's taking a real leadership role with these Southern Suburbs Tigers, Obi, and mate, he's leading the way. He's playing very, very well in the 5'8 position, although he's wearing the number one. As we see the Gunder Windy boards go on the tack, and oh, I think it was and just jammed him down. They go down the short side, go through Jason Saunders over on that far side. But like, this defence from the Southern Suburbs Tigers is just relentless, Obi. It certainly is. And they come the blind. Here's McGrady. It's a break, Neville. Uh, oh. He's called it back. He's called it back. Forward oh. pass. And just, just see the support looming up there, the young winger over on that side there. He just... He had four gun-to-windy boards just coming at 100 mile an hour at him. Well, well, we got a penalty here or we've got a scrum? I think it's going to change it over. It's, uh, I think it's the board floated forward, which is a little bit harsh. But anyway, that's as we move on. So. Yeah, but this isn't a um, goes forward. It's either a scrum or a tap. It wasn't the fifth tackle, and we're playing the ball. I'm not sure what's happened there. Yeah, so. a bit of a mystery uh, uh, ruling there. But here we go. Uh, Whitaker, who's played well so far, still all after 10 minutes uh, uh, Neville? Mate, he certainly has. As Foster goes to dummy half, Whitaker makes a run of 10 metres. Foster finds Mitch Murphy. He takes another ruck. They come in behind the line there, and he's swallowed up by Offendale from the Gunder Windy Bull. As Foster goes to dummy half, he comes to Austin. Austin's looking for options. He's going to go through the gap. He's nearly through, but he's going to be claimed. He gets the ball away. Oh, oh, no, they've just dropped it. it. He said, play on, knock back. Very lucky. Young anyway. Tate McCormick dies on it. Foster goes to dummy half. Here comes the Tigers, and it's Coro Benham just lumbers forward towards the post. Foster to dummy half, he goes to the right, he comes out to Whittaker, Whittaker feeds it on to... Namana. Namana, Marna wraps around, he gets it on to the centre, in Packer, Packer's going to be tackled on that far touch line, two metres out from the line, two metres in from the touch line. They come back to the open side, they're looking for options. Namana. Namana finds, throws out the back, he finds Austin, Austin oh. juggles and catches <laughs> it between his legs, he comes back towards, puts a little chip in, he's chasing it up, but McGrady's going to let it, no, they're going to catch tap for it, trap him in the in goal. No, he's just got out. He's just got out over the line, but... No, no. Uh, no Aaron Wilson's called. Is he still going? No, no I he's think called. he's in the uh, in goal, waiting for Aaron Williams' call, call. He's talking to his touches there. We'll see what happens, but it looks like they have been caught in there in goal, and it was very unusual because Wade Austin, he got a pretty innocuous pass, <laughs> and it ended up around his knees, and he had to go back and around and all that type of stuff, and then he put the ball 
uh, on the boot. And uh, how can you tell the players to chase that one? Here's a drop out here, Neville. That's McGrady. Look, that's gone 60 metres. Oh, and, and rolling. 65, nearly 70 metres. And now Isaac Laird picks it up and lumbers forward and crunches into the Gundawindi defence. And he finds his front. He's going to be tackled, wrapped up by three Gundawindi boards defence. Foster goes to dummy half. He goes to the blind side. Through the little three, and Hayden Packer, Hayden, he jinxed it for the line, but he's going to be cleaned up by Saunders on that far side, and Mickey has it. Foster goes to dummy half. This time he gets it on to Austin. Austin gets it on to Whitaker, who comes back towards the middle of the post. They love running towards the middle of the field there, the Southern Suburbs Tigers. We see Foster go to dummy half. Mitch Murphy, he's going to block the play and get Wade. Austin, Wade, Austin gets it out to Mitch Riley. He throws a wonderful pass out to Ethan oh. Hearn, but it's on the ground, and he couldn't pick it up. And so knock on round the grounds with Nev Cherry Pest Control out there at Kills Road. Highfields have hit the front, and it's 14-12 wow. Highfields over the Premiers. Uh, they're out there. We'll cross to... Uh, uh, there. They have had half time there, so they're about half an hour in front of us, Neville. That's incredible out there, Ovi. It is. Yeah, uh, uh, and we've got 13 minutes into this match. It's nil all, Neville. So we've got a scrum there right on the halfway mark. We're 15 metres in from the grandstand side. The Gundawindi boards are going to feed it in. Goes out to McGrady on the open side. He comes to the line, steps back on the inside, but he's going to be wrapped up by Whitaker and Packer. So he struggles to get to play the ball. Hazard goes to dummy half. He gets it out to Callum Skinner. Callum Skinner only makes a gain of three metres, and he's met by the Southern Suburbs defence. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He gets it out to Malcolm McGrady. Malcolm McGrady flumbers up over that far side. They go towards the far touch line, and it's going to be a penalty for a second effort. He's tried to play the ball very quickly to catch the Southern Suburbs Tigers off guard, but... Uh, yeah. Referee Aaron Wilson is right on the spot. Yeah, he's watching it there. I think it's, a, oh, I've got to say, you know, they're cre they were creeping up a bit there, the South Tigers, because they were getting in their face here, but it's advantage gun to Windy at the moment. Nil all after 14 minutes. 14, now it's 16, 14 valleys have scored there in front. Malcolm McGray takes a tap and he makes an easy 11 metres. Jeezy strong. We see Jarrett go to dummy half. He comes to the open side through Offendale. Offendale goes towards the post, but he's going to be picked up on oh, body slam by Whitaker. Again. It's just unreal. Jarrett comes back towards oh, the post. Oh, no. He had a sneaky look there. He could see Whitaker lining him up. And Whitaker says, give it here. Just play on. So the Southern Suburbs Tigers get let off the hook. They're going to get the zero tackle in front of the post. Foster goes to dummy half. He gets to the Packer. Geez, he likes to work in the middle of there, young Packer. So he goes do. forward. He gets eight metres. He's 18 metres off the line. Foster goes to dummy half. He finds Mitch Murphy. But he's going to be cleaned up there by Callum Skinner trying to make up for the mistake. Foster goes to dummy half. They stay in the middle of the field. Tatey McCormack says, give it here. He hits and spins, but he's been cleaned up by three Gundawindi boars. Foster goes to dummy half. He's going to go to the open side. He gets it on to Isaac Laird. Isaac Laird oh, just crunched. Come just, on, Munro. Oh, just stopped him in his tracks. Foster to dummy half. He finds Austin. Austin puts a jam and kick right down there over to that far wing. Is it Alexander? Right? No, it's Saunders. I think Saunders picks it up. He comes back towards the middle of the field. He's 30 off his own line. He's I tell 15. you what, Neville, there's some crunching defence in both sides here. Carl Munro and uh, Jacob Whitaker, respectively, in both sides. They're really crunching the, uh, their opposition at the, at the moment. Nil all after, after 15 minutes. And another try out there at Cools Road. Uh, they're two in succession. So we're 22 points to 14. Valleys over uh, high fields round the ground with their true pest control. So we have... Gundawindi go on the attack. They're 40 metres out from the try line. Jarrett gets on to Offendale. Offendale hits the spins, turns it to little Mickey Hazard. Mickey Hazard gets it on to Malcolm O'Brady. Down that far touch line, but he's going to be well and truly wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs defence. Gundawindi go on the attack. They're 15 metres out from their own line. McGrady gets it. He puts a nice little chip over here to... Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis. Oh. Unbelievable stuff. And then Tommy Davis tried to get it off to, uh, I think it was Saunders, and he just got taken out with the corner post down this uh, uh, this southern end here. And they saved the day there for uh, the Tigers. But look, starting to look a bit ominous there uh, with uh, Tigers with the ball. Remember, we've got Ricky McGrady, 47 uh, wow. uh, year old, uh, playing on this wing here. So it's all Tigers trying to get it out of their. Uh, their quarter at the present time, uh, Neville. Mate, they're scrambling very well, the Southern Suburbs Tigers. We see Whitaker take his sixth hit up for the game. Foster goes to dummy half and gets it on to Isaac Laird, the former Highfields Eagles. But he only makes a gain of four metres. He's going to be wrapped up by the Gundawindi defence through Offendale. And, mate, fair. That's fair enough. Aaron Wilson's penalised the Gundawindi Boars holding too long down in the ruck there. So he's been very consistent. 
You sure have, and no, no time. Uh, it kicks straight out uh, uh, again, Jazz Namana. It's uh, look, well, we've had 17 minutes and there's still no score uh, here at Clyde Burkhofer Stadium in the Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day, uh, Neville. Harvesting taps and gets it on to Austin. He goes to the line, does a little jig, and he's nearly snuck through. They're racing up there on Mitch Murphy, and he's nearly went through Wade Austin. As we see, Angus Hearn, he goes on to the hooker hole. He gets it to Harvesting coming down the short side. He's looking Ricky to get the, the ball. Gets the ball away, gets, turns it back into Mitch Murphy. Mitch Murphy goes back towards the middle of the field. He lumbers forward. He's trying to find his front to get a quick play of the ball. Angus Hearns, the dummy half. He's saying, ref, come on, let us up, please. He goes to the open side through Whitaker. Whitaker plays out the back through Namana. Namana gets it on to Hayden Backer. He's on the outside. He's going to be tackled over there, 20 metres out, two metres in from the far touchline. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. The Southern Suburbs Tigers come back towards the middle of the field through Mitch Murphy. They're five metres out from the line. He's t five metres in from the far touch line. They're set, getting set for the big sweep play. Oh, they go down the board. He's going towards the line, but he's going to be bundled. No, he's stayed in the field of play. That's well done by the Southern Suburbs player. Yeah, I think it was uh, Josh Foster on that occasion down that blind. They're still playing. It's still on here, Neville. No, it's not. It's a, it's a changeover no, no, no. and gun to Windy. And look at this Tigers defence, still nil all after 18 minutes here at Clyde Burkhofer Stadium. So we see Mickey has to go to dummy half. He gets it on to Offendale, but oh, crunched by Whitaker. <laughs> Jeez, they've lined him up. So Jared goes to dummy half. He comes over to Callum Skinner, and Callum Skinner comes towards the middle of the post, and that's a better run. He makes a gain of 10 metres. They're 18 metres out from their own line. Jared goes back into the, block, into the dummy Offendale. half. And Offendale, he slipped through. He's beaten one. He's still going. That's a great run. He makes a gain of 10 metres. Jared goes to dummy half. They go to the blind hand side. He gets it on to little Mickey Hazard. Jeez, he's got hair everywhere. He's a great little player, but he's going to be tackled 39 metres out. Grady. McGrady puts a little chip in behind the line there. We've got the Southern Suburbs player coming back. He's picked it up. The little number five for the Southern Suburbs players is Benny Howard from the under 18. That's wonderful play. Yeah, and look, a good passage of play there. Gunter Windy would find it tough to get out of their, their quarter. Nil all after 19 minutes uh, south over Gunter Windy. Round the grounds. I mean, uh, Nev Cherry Pest Control, 22 points to 14. Uh, Valleys over Highfields and Neville. Oh, we've got Angus Hearn, he goes to dummy half, and we have Hartlinson, he's taking a run. He's one of the young fellows from the under-18s last year. That's a wonderful run. He tries to point his front, get a quick play of the ball. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half and gets it on to Mitch Murphy. They're taking him on in the forwards here, over in the middle of the Gundawindi boards. Mitch Murphy's going to be rolled on his back. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He comes out to Wade Austin. Wade Austin puts a nice little chip in, chip in behind the line there, but Dave McGrady, he's all class. He's all over it, but there's plenty of defence there from the... Southern Suburbs Tigers and McGrady starts to move. He starts to go to that far touch lines when he wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Yeah, yeah, still plenty of intensity in this game here. It's just I've got a question. Can South keep this intensity in their defence up? Let's hope they can because uh, Gunder Wendy are just starting to get into a groove and throw everything at them. We're about the halfway stage of the first half. It's still nil all, Neville. Well, they certainly are. And it's just wonderful defence from the Southern Suburbs Tigers. We see the Gunder Wendy boards go on the attack. They come down the line with Offendale down this far, the closest touch line. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He's run out of options. We find Rick McGrady. He's coming down the blind to Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady gets it on to Tom Davis. He puts a little chip, but Aaron Williams is right on. He's saying another four. That's about the third forward pass, Obi. Yeah, it is, mate. Half. Yeah, look, uh, I tell you what, Gunder Windy are probably making more mistakes than their opponents at the moment. And then uh, uh, South are just... Uh, Full of energy at the present time, Neville. I just their defence is just wonderful, Obi. As we see the Southern Suburbs players, Isaac Laird's going to play the ball. Angus Hearn, he takes it just on the halfway mark, and Ethan Hearn goes in the middle, gives it to his brother, and he lumbers forward, but he's going to be wrapped up by the Gunder Windy defence. He finds his front, he's looking for a quick play of the ball. Angus Hearn to dummy half, he's going to go to that man, Whitaker. He says, give it here for his about his ninth hit up. He just makes it over the halfway mark in front of the grandstand there. They're 15 metres in from the t closest touch line. Angus Hearns pleading with them to get up for a quick play of the ball. They play the ball, they go to the right side by, through Ang uh, Isaac Laird again. He goes for a great run of 10 metres. He's tackled just over the halfway mark. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He's looking to go back to the open there. It's Coro Ben and he's come on. He's going to take a ruck forward. The reserve for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Angus Hearn back to dummy half. They go to the short side again. Through Namana Marana dummies. He's nearly through, but he's going to be wrapped up by the Gunder Windy defence. That's great work from the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Fifth and last tackle. Angus Hearn to dummy up. Wade Austin puts a huge kick up. This will test Dave McGrady out. It's coming up. It's coming down. They're going to let it bounce. It bounces back towards the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Picked up by Ethan Hearn. 
He's trying to struggle to get the ball away, but young Tommy Davis, oh, he's he got it away. Oh, oh the referee says, says he, he must have held. called held there. But look, uh, yeah, good enterprising attack again by uh, the Tigers. Incidentally, there. Uh, Neville, for your sake, uh, Alex Ray is in number 14, so I suggest him and Stuart Lowe have changed jerseys. Uh, Alex Ray being the one with the head the head strap around his head there, number 14, just behind the uh, oh, yeah, yep. there as well. And he's a good uh, he's a good pig from uh, um, from <laughs> Pommy Lang, yeah, if I could use that slang. Anyway, Gunder Wendy bringing it back out of their half. So we've got Jared, he goes to dummy half, he gets it on to Dave McGray, he takes a ruck through the middle there. He's going to be tackled 45 metres out from his own line. So Jarrett goes to dummy half. He gets it on to Carl Clement. Carl Clement goes to the blind side. He makes a gain of six metres. He's going to be well and truly wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They hold him down. Jarrett goes back to the blind side there through... Munro. Munro. He's a great player. He is he, playing well. He makes a gain of five metres. I love that short side, but they change options and come back to the open side this time through the 17. Is it Alexander Ray? No, no. Tyler Dennison. Tyler Dennison. He's come onto the field. Jarrett goes to dummy half through Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady puts it up. It's up, up. It'll test Hayden Packer this time, but he takes oh. it easy this time. Well done. So. In, in fact, Neville, it was a, a more difficult kick than the one that he actually dropped because he dropped it Carl with no pressure on, and then he had three Gundawindi Balls players on him at the moment, and he took it sort of on his left sh uh, shoulder. Still nil all after 23 minutes, South over Gundawini and Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day, Neville. We see Coro Benham make a great run for the Tigers. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He gets it on to Mitch Murphy. He's tried really hard for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. He makes a gain of only five minutes. They're in the middle of the post, 35 metres out from their own line. And here comes Jacob Whitaker. Hit, spins, has taken three of them to get down. He's made it up to the halfway mark. Great gun there. Great run there from Whitaker. Hearn goes to dummy half. He's looking out the back here. He's going to find Jasna Mana. Jasna Mana puts a wonderful kick in. He's got a good boot Mate, on he him. He certainly he? has. It goes down to McGrady. McGrady picks it up. He just stalls at the line. Size him up. Puts a bit of a palm on. But the Southern Suburbs defence are all over him. Little Mickey has it. He comes into dummy half. And he gets it on to the number four over there in um, McGrady. He's going to be tackled. As we get it on this time, is that Carl Clement? No, that's Offendale. Offendale, Offendale pumps it forward. The great run there. Jared out of dummy half. They're making easy ground there through the middle over. He's still going. They come at him again. Little Hazard's gone to dummy half. He's looking for options. He comes to the right-hand side. He's Alexander Ray in the 17. He's going to be tackled of the gain of five metres. The Gunder Windy boys are fifth and last tackle. South are offside all over the place. And Dave McGrady comes to the open side here. They come down the... Touch line there, but Hayden Packer's going to be back there to clean it up. Wonderful positional play, and they're trying to hold him up. He doesn't want to go over the sideline, Obi. Yeah, it was, uh, I think, Jarrett, the uh, hooker for ba uh, Bores. He, he slipped down the uh, the blind side and he kicked it in for his inside men. But uh, uh, tell you what, uh, Wade Austin was there to clean up the crumbs there. A really good quality game. Both sides are hanging on to the ball. Still nil all with 15 minutes left until half time. Neville. We see Foster go to the second... Row after he was playing hook at the start, and Angus Hearn's come on. So Angus Hearn comes on, he finds Mitch Murphy, who's been really busy. He's just, just behind Jacob Whitaker. He takes a run towards the middle of the corridor of the field. They go out to Coro Benham. Coro Benham's been strong since he's come on. He and has, he, mate. Yeah. He's a big bopper, isn't he? Mate, he certainly is. He's played a lot of reserve grade, Coro, but he stepped up here tonight for the Tigers. And, mate, they're 40 metres out from their touchline. They come back to Wade Austin. Wade Austin puts a kick in this time, and... It comes down here to Davis on the wing there. A bounce. He lets a bounce. It goes over his head. It's going to go. He's got it. It's gone into touch. He's touched it and run it into touch, Obi. He sure has. And it was going to be a 40-20 anyway, I think. Did he? Was he before his 40-20? But look, it was a, uh, well, it was an unusual kick. He didn't have much time, but he got the, he got the uh, leather to the ball. And it bounced uh, pretty poorly for Tom Davis. It went over his head. He came back and then he did the little ballerina sort of uh, <laughs> step along the white line. And, ref and the, uh, the touch, he was right there saying he went uh, uh, just out. Uh, and a CNR concreting coach killer there for the good uh, Gunda Wendy Boars. And we'll have an SK drilling scrum. And here's their chance. Tigers, they're 15 metres out uh, with the feed there, uh, Neville. Mate, the Tigers have worked hard for this, Obi. They've defended really well, so this is their chance. Austin puts it in, and it comes out the back. Hayden Packer picks it up the back of the scrum. He goes towards the post and hits and spins and going to take the tackle there. Angus Hearn's going to dummy half. He's looking to see who comes the ball. He goes to the blind outside there. He's going to be well Foster. Foster, he takes it towards the post, and he's wrapped up by the Gunder Windy Boars. 
Hearn to dummy half. They come to the open side through Austin. He throws a wonderful pass. Austin pirouettes and goes back towards the middle of the post there. He's going, but he's going to be held up. He's caught out five metres from the line. The gun to Winnie Boars are all over him. Hearn, he's looking for, for uh, Whitaker. Whitaker takes it to the dummy, goes out the back to Coro Benham again. Coro takes the tackle. We've got little Lamana out the back there. He's looking to find something down the blind hand side. He goes to Lamana. Lamana dummies. He goes towards the line. He can see something. They roll him over to be going to court. Fifth and last right. for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Hearn to dummy half. He finds, oh, terrible pass out the back. It's going to be cleaned up by Here's Foster. Foster. Foster dummy throws a pass out. Ooh. Austin finds it again. Throws it over to Harpixing. Harpixing gets it. He's going towards the line. He gets the ball away. And then they go in to score. Oh, wow. And it was just there. It came out of nothing there. Young uh, Wade Austin did very, very well. He, he juggled the ball. Then he got it onto the 14. Who was the 14 there? Harpixon. Harpixon. And he did very well. He went for the line. And then he had Young Hearn with the line wide open. No one marking him. It wasn't the best of pass. And he knocked it on. Did a nutsy. He doesn't knock it on. <laughs> it was a wonderful opportunity they created. The Southern Suburbs Toys to come out of nothing, Obi. Yep. Uh, as we see the gun to Windy Boars take it out. Jarrett goes to dummy half. And is, that's Clement, isn't it? Yep. Clement, he takes it towards with a great run, but he's well and truly wrapped up by that Foster. He snaps him in half. So they go out to the blind end Monroe. side there and gets it on to Munro. They like to work over that far touch line, don't they, Obi? Yes, Jarrett they goes do. to dummy half. Oh, fair enough, a second effort. Aaron Williams is straight on it. And I like to see that between him and the other referees throughout the competition, Obi. Yeah. Any second efforts, mate, penalised. Yeah, he's not blowing the pee out of the whistle too. You know, that's only the fourth uh, penalty of the match. And there's been, what, probably three of those have been for the same... Uh, penalty uh, around the grounds with Ned Cherry Pest Control. It is Valleys 24 14 over Highfields with about 10 minutes left out there at Cools Road. There, Neville. As we see, they take the tap and McGrady takes the tap and goes forward. Jarrett goes to dummy half there. He gets it onto Munro through towards the middle of the post there. Jarrett goes to dummy half again. Just the line speed of the Southern Suburbs Tigers is ferocious here, Obi. Yeah, it is at the moment. Oh, great. Ray. Right. Alex, Alex Ray. Alexander Ray. He's a great player, Obi. He so. sure is. So Jarrett goes to dummy half. Ricky McGrady. Ricky McGrady. He's looking to go through. He hasn't lost anything, Ricky, but he gets a quick play of the ball and puts a gun to Windy Balls on the front. Here we go, Stewie Lowe back towards the post. He's looking to get the ball away, but he's wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Jarrett to dummy half. He goes out to Mickey Hazard. He's looking for his options. He oh, throws the ball, oh, but he goes forward. Oh, mate, does. that was setting up for something. Yeah, you get a sense, Neville, that uh, Gunder Wendy, when they get the ball, they probably have them. Um, they look like the team most likely to break the line. Don't you agree? It, most definitely. It's just their execution. It just breaks down on that last pass, and it's just one of those things. Uh, they catch it, they go through and score. They don't catch it, they make mistakes like that as... We see the Josh Ryan for the Southern Suburbs Tigers take a ruck out of dummy half there. So they're 18 metres off their own line, 10 metres from the tar far touch line. The ball goes on to Laird. Laird gets it on to the 13 in, in Hearn. Hearn. Hearn rucks forward. He's in the middle of the post. He's 20 metres out from his own line. Plays the ball back to his brother, and here comes Whitaker. He lumbers forward. Jeez, he's a good front rower. Yeah, played all the first half so far. But Here's Hearn. Hearn. Hearn gets it on to Mitch Murphy on the left-hand side there. He lumbers forward. He's been busy. He's tried hard for his side. He's going to be rolled over onto his back. Great work from the gun to Windy Boars to slow the play of the ball down. Hearn goes to dummy half. He gets it on to Coro Benham. He ducks his head. <laughs> Jeez, he looks dangerous. Every time he gets the ball, he gets, finds his fun, nearly sneaks through. Hearn goes to dummy half. He gets it back on to Manana. Manana. Puts a wonderful kick down on that far touch line. It rumbles back down over there. Is it? Yeah, great. Look, and uh, I think it's Saunders over there, but or Malcolm McGrady. What I was going to say is that one thing Namana has done, and he showed in that kick, it kicked it for space as Gunder Wendy with Davis brings it out over about the 30 metre line. Still nil all. Uh, nine minutes left until. Uh, uh, half time here at the Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day. Round the ground, net Jerry Pest Control. 32 points to 14. Valleys over high fields. About oh, eight minutes left out there. Yeah, that's a big turnaround, Obi, isn't it? The yep. team, McGrady gets it on the low. He goes to the line looking to get the ball away. He does get it away. He gets it back to Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady finds Malcolm Grady into some space. He's going to be hard to stop. Little Mickey has it's come up. Here they go, back to Dave McGrady. He's going to go wide this time, and he gets back to Stewie Lowe. Stewie Lowe, he gets the ball away again. He's coming towards the line there, and it's going to be the number six, I think, Adam Tribe. He's going to dive over and score. Yeah, no, uh, Tribe is not playing, mate. I think it's uh, Jason Saunders, is it? Or, uh, yeah. 
Jason Saunders. We'll just check that with next door. But look, the first try scored there by the Boers and well deserved by Gunder Windy. A great break by Malcolm uh, uh, McGrady uh, down that far side. And uh, he had little Mickey Hazard on the inside who was there for all money. He went to dummy. He dummied to him. Uh, but uh, young uh, Packer, uh, he tackled McGrady. And McGrady played the ball very quickly. It went on to uh, Stewie Lowe. And then on to... It is Adam Tribe, is it? Yep, number six. Look, I apologise there, mate. I had him down as not playing to the, today. Neville, my sincerest apologies. So Adam Tribe scores the first tries of the match with seven and a half minutes left here on this uh, Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day here. And in he comes Adam Tribe to kick this. We haven't seen much of him, mate. That's no, why that's we didn't know definitely. of him. So he kicks it left foot and adds the extras there for Goodyear uh, Pittsworth there, uh, Neville. Mate, it's a wonderful kick there by Adam Tribe, but, you know, just, mate, that Malcolm McGrady made that break and just little Mickey has a screen up, give it a heels. I had him in under the post, Obi, and just, yep. he got crunched by Namana and Packer and just, mate, anyway, just Dave McGrady's class. He knew where to go and he finds Adam Tribe coming around beside the post. He looks like a very likely sort of a character. Low centre of gravity, looks like he's going to be a very good 5'8". So, but just for the Southern Suburbs Tigers, they just don't need to drop their bundle here. They've been great for 35 minutes of this first half over here. Yeah, they certainly have. And uh, uh, still seven minutes left. If they can get on the scoreboard, they've looked like scoring on a few occasions. They've got the better completion rate uh, than the Bulls. Here's the restart, uh, Neville. Angus Hearn kicks it, and it's high, and it's one of those loopy ones. But Mickey Hazard's going to be all over it, and he's tackled... 15 metres out from his try line, 10 metres in from that far touch line. Uh, Brown goes to dummy half and he finds a hard running, he's a gun to windy player over there and he's going to be tackled 20 metres out from his own line. Jarrett goes to dummy half, they go back to the blind side there and Munro, he slips through and he looks to get the ball away but they've tackled him down the southern suburbs ties, it's that man Whitaker. Jarrett goes to dummy half, they come to the open side in Clement, Clement lumbers forward, he's 40 metres off his own try line, centre of the field. Jarrett saying, come on sir, let us up. He goes back to the left-hand side there, and this time it's going to be... Munro, I think it is. Munro, Munro, he's going to be tackled just before the half way mark. It's fifth and last. Comes back to Dave McGrady. Jeez, he puts a high kick up, and it goes up, and giving Hayden Packer nightmares. Oh, oh and man. the nightmare continues for Hayden Packer. Again, he can catch the difficult ones, but he's uh, dropped... That's a second a sitter in a... In this first half, that he's dropped it on his 20-metre line. And look, uh, CNR Concrete and Coach Killer there. You've got to catch those balls on the full 6 nil five and a half minutes left until half time. Around the grounds with, prof with uh, Nev Cherry Pest Control. Still 30, 30 points to 14 valleys over high fields with about seven minutes left out there at Cools Road, Neville. Mate, the, the Tigers have really got to hang on here. That five minutes before half time, Obi, is just very, very critical. They can go into the break. 6-0 down, but they don't want to go on the break 12-0 down. So they've got a man up like they have for the first 35 minutes, Obi. SNK drilling scrum. It's a win oh, against the feed, isn't it? It is against the feed, oh, too. No. Little Mickey has his oh, race no, around and it. grabbed it. So Jarrett goes to dummy half and gets it on to Offerdale. Offerdale just goes forward. He knows what to do. He's tackled five metres out directly in front of the post. Jarrett goes. He's going to take a scoop, but South Tigers are all over him. He's going to be tackled two metres out from the own line. Offendale goes to dummy half, he's going to come out the right side, throws a terrible pass to Rick McGrady, Rick McGrady can't pick it up and goes back around to Dave McGrady and he's just playing with the defence, he stands there but they've lost 20 metres in that play, Obi. Yeah, and the 17's got it, four gun to Winnie, uh, McGrady out to Hazard, Neville. He gets it on to Malcolm McGrady on that far side over there, he's going to be tackled five metres out, ten metres out from the far touch line, Hazard goes to dummy half. He finds Kyle Munro. Kyle Munro throws the ball out the back to Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady sizes it up. He comes over to Davis. Davis says, get over here. But Hayden Packer, he's there to catch it. And he yeah, takes a wonderful work. ball out from his own in goal. Yeah, well, he made up for his indiscretion there. And they lasted that set of six there. It's four minutes until half time. It's still 6-0. Gun to Windy over South here at the uh, Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day, Neville. Hardington takes a ruck out from dummy half and makes a gain of eight metres there on the 22 mark. He gets it out, Tatey McCormick. Tatey McCormick comes back in behind the ruck, hits and spins twice, and he's still going, young Tate. Takes three of them to get him down. They're 30 metres out from the try line, off their own line in the middle of the field. Hearn gets it out to Austin, gets it to Namana. Namana gets it over there to Coro Benham, who's running on the right edge there. He's going to be tackled. Hearn goes back to dummy half. They come to the left. They're looking for Namana. Namana gets out of here. Smart play. Puts a wonderful kick down here to the number nine. 
He'd have to be McGrady, wouldn't he? But anyway, he's going to troll over to Dave McGrady. So, Dave McGrady. I've got to guess him with these numbers oh, on the back mate, of their jerseys. The place, so, yeah. down the windy side, uh, I actually make it to be... Um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on yeah, that Yeah, no, one. Dave McGrady, <laughs> he's always 20 metres out, five metres in from the far touch line. Mickey has it. He goes to dummy half and gets it on to Brown. Brown takes a wonderful scoot. Jared goes to dummy half. He's looking for options. He's going to come to the right-hand side. He's going to give it to Malcolm McGrady. Malcolm McGrady makes a gain of 15 metres there, 40 metres out in the middle corridor of the field. Gunder Windy are on the attack. Jared goes to dummy half. He turns it back on the inside there to Clement. Clement goes through, but he's going to be tackled. Jared goes to dummy half. He's going to go to the blind side. Here comes that man, Dave McGrady. Throws a wonderful ball out there to Brown. Brown gets it on to Dave McGrady. He gets through. He's Malcolm. going. He, Malcolm, he puts a chip through. And here comes Dave. And comes around, oh. picks it up, and just does it far too easy. Lumbers in behind the post here and just taps the ball down, Obi. Yeah, look, it was almost slow motion there. Malcolm McGrady, he made the half break down that far side. It's about the third one he's made. Uh, in this game, and then he put a little kick up, and it just bounced up just perfectly for David McGrady, and he just, uh, yep, treated the opposition with contempt, and he just strolled over nice and a long strides there to score underneath the post to make it 10 points to nil on the Toowoomba Sports Club try uh, there with two minutes until half time there, Neville. I geez, they burned some players and sides over the, the two of them. We watched them do it against Oakey that day. Oakey, you're in the game, and they just blew him off the park, Dave McGrady to Malcolm McGrady. And, mate, they would have done that move 100 times in their backyard. They just know where each other's going to be. As we see Dave Tribe, um, Adam Tribe, he, he's going to take the kick for goal. The, the Southern Suburbs Tigers didn't deserve that try against them. They, they played very well in this first half. And, mate, to go in 12 nil down, they'd be bitterly disappointed with that, Obi, but they've just got to hang in there and keep showing up and keep the intensity. Well, President uh, Keith Kenny did say on the... Uh Footy show on Thursday uh, night that uh, they're playing for 30 minutes and just not beating it, winning those last 10 minutes as Adam Tribe goes for this good year. Pittsworth gold right in front, left footer, and he adds the extras to make it a 12 point ball game with a minute and 10 seconds left until the restart here. Round the grounds with Neb Cherry Pest Control, and the score out there is still 30 points to 14 out there. Valleys over Highfields at Cools Road, Neville. Oh, we're going to get the restart there. So we've only got a minute to go till half time, Obi. So the Tigers have got to hang on, but you can be as sure as hell as anything that the Gunner Windy Boars, they'll, they'll throw it around this set of six. So they've got to hang tough here. Keep their shape. Don't get any out of shape to some suburbs Tigers. We see Angus Hearn go to do the kick off, and mate, he pumps it down, and he's kicked that out 20 metres on the full. You could see that coming. I was thinking, what's he doing? And anyway, he's, he's kicked it and it's gone 20 metres out of, over the touchline. Maybe he's trying to waste time, but Gunder Windy, you're going to come back at them 100 mile an hour. And this is a side with the great... Yeah, no. give them an inch, they'll take a mile. They certainly will, uh, Neville. And uh, 12 and nil with 20 seconds left. They'll have one crack at this. They're not in a real hurry, the uh, the Boars. So we'll see what happens here. They're going to take the two. They're going to take the two. And... Yep. yep, they're going to take the two. So this will make it a 14-point ball game. So we'll see what happens there. So, yeah, yeah unusual. But then, um, yep, we want to give all those players a bit of a break until halftime there, Neville. And there's the halftime hooter just waiting for a... Uh, kicking tee, I A think. kicking tee. Old mate's got it, the young uh, fellow. He was just uh, thought it was going to be halftime. <laughs> He's over here signing autographs at halftime. Mate. Yeah, that's right, you see. So and he sprints out now. He'll and kick it, this fellow, over. Drive. He'll kick this, I reckon. Okay. Well, it's straight in front, so there's yeah. no reasons why he won't. But he, he just, he's just got a wonderful kicking technique with heaps of power. Yeah, he certainly has. And uh, the left footer too. Yeah, he is. So you're going to back it in, mate? Mate, I'm backing it in. All right, we'll see how we go there. He goes. And he comes from halfway. It looks good, I think. Oh, oh just, just underneath under. the... The upright Hayden Packer, he puts the boot to it, which is probably a mistake when you've given it straight <laughs> back to David McGrady, and he'll just kick it out, and that'll make it 12 nil at half time. So after the break, we'll come back and we'll get out to Cools Road. This is the OBN Cookie Show. <laughs> Hutchies lives here. We're locals, just like you. To us, construction is really about people, not just bricks and concrete. It's people who bring our structures to life and build communities. We stick by the people who make communities. 
from Toowoomba Rugby League to RACQ Lifelight Rescue Service, Milne Bay Military Challenge and the Toowoomba Tennis International, Hutchies is proud to back the people who support the region. Jamming as much variety into your day as possible. Power FM. Powerfmradio.com.au Southside comes out. They've had a wonderful day here with the Harristown High uh, blast from the past. Uh, Stevie Price uh, putting on the boots for the first time in 10 years. Wow. <laughs> uh, they're playing for the Harristown Hawks Old Boys against the South Old Boys, and they won that game 22 points to four with the Dunerman boys playing. I tell you what, Ian Dunerman has not lost anything. He played very, very well in that game, uh, Neville. But they're wonderful players. They're wonderful juniors. They just, the skill level, when Peter Sterling gives you a rap, when you're a young fella, you know you're on the right track. Just wonderful, skillful players from the Newtown Club. Yeah, that's right, exactly right. But here's a restart here, Neville. So Angus Hearn, he pumps it down in the middle of the field to Mickey Hassard. Then Mark Offerdale, the Yank Tank, he pumps it forward and he makes a gain of about 10 metres. They tackle 21 metres out from their own try line, 10 metres in from the closest touch line. Tribe goes to dummy half and he gets it on to Munro, but he's going to be snapped in half. But he gets the ball away. He gets it back around there to the headgear in Saunders, I think, the Saunders. Anyway, we go. No, it's Ray. Ray, is it? Alex yeah, Ray, Ray, sorry. Yep, so... Anyway, I've lost you now. Yeah, you're right. You're They've right. got the ball. They're bringing it out from their own half. Here's Offendale Neville. Takes his second set hit up in this set of six, and the gun, the windy boys, are coming on the attack there. As we get Munro go back towards the blind inside there, and he's going to be wrapped up by the Southern Suburbs Tigers. We've got Tribe going to dummy half, fifth and last. He comes down the short side and puts a nice little grubber kick down the short side. He's not going to find touch, and... Hayden Packer picks it up and goes straight forward into him. He's going to be tackled 10 metres out from his own line over here. Isn't Hayden Packer going to be sore after this game? He has really toughed it out. He's made a couple of mistakes here, but he has, has been playing uh, very, very well and, uh, and uh, quite safe apart from those two errors, Neville. Here comes Whitaker again. He takes the third hit up. They're tackled right off 25 metres out from their own line. They go towards the middle of the post and Isaac Laird lumbers forward. He's going to be tackled 35 metres out directly in the middle of the field there. Hearn goes to dummy half. He gets it out to Wade Austin down that open side. He hits and spins, and he's going to be cleaned up and forced back by the Gunder Windy Boars. He's still standing. He's trying to get the play of the ball, and they throw him out the back. The referee says, go again. It's fifth and last. Hearn goes to dummy half. He throws it out the back to Namana. Namana puts a high kick. It's spinning out between this line, but the referee's going to penalise him on the fifth and last. We're looking for the ball to go downfield, and he's penalised him on the fifth and last. Yeah, we'll just see what's happened there. I just didn't uh, get it there. But no, he called them offside. So uh, right on the ball, he called it very, very early. And then uh, on the last tackle, I will put that down to a, 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 a CNR concreting coach killer there. That's for sure. 
but advantage to the Tigers early in the second half. 12 nil, just three minutes into the second half here for the Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day, Neville. Mate, wonderful kick for touch. That's gone 30 metres on the fly. He's got it out, so we're going to... They're trying to say they've touched it, but I think he jumped out to touch it. He was outside the field of play. No, correct. He's won a wonderful game, Aaron Williams. Yeah, That's he's correct the very, decision. very well, yep. Yep. So, anyway, we're going to have Sears go on the tack. Uh, Whitaker, he hits it up, makes a gain of eight metres. He's going to be tackled 22 metres out from his own line. The try line, uh, Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He finds Austin. Austin gets it on to... <laughs> In there, here they come. This blind side here, Hearn gets it on to Jasnamana. Jasnamana gets it on the court, he's been a little bit quiet. They come down to the line close to the grandstand. Kyle Brennan takes another hit, takes a jink before the line. He's going to be tackled on his front. Hearn goes to dummy half, he's trying to line something up with Isaac Laird. Isaac Laird takes a dummy, they go out the back through Austin. Austin throws a dummy, comes back towards the middle of the field. They come back, oh, finds a fine looping pass to Namana. Yeah. Namana. So far, he's tried hard, and he's actually really taken on the line, you know, and a bit of lazy defence there by the Boers. And Jazz Namana, he just backed himself when he scored a much-needed try. That'll put them, uh, look, uh, that'll put them on the scoreboard for the first time for the Toowoomba Sports Club. And look, uh, that makes it 12 points to four. And look, uh, good to see they've come out on fire at the moment, taking advantage of that mistake uh, down the field by the Boers, Neville Cherry. Mate, Obi, just I'll come back to rue that decision. A tackle on the fifth and last. They get another kick. Wonderful kick over to the far side. Make a gain of 30 metres. And Jasnamana, he's skillful. He's just, that's the sort of guy Souths are looking to lead this club. And, mate, he's done a wonderful effort. As we see young Angus Hearn, he's going to take the kick. He's a wonderful kicker, young Angus. Important so, kick here, mate. Mate, yeah. he's, what's he bring it back about 15 metres. He's 10, 15 metres in from the touchline. Takes a deep breath. Has a little bit of a stutter. Comes in, slices it nicely. And he's... Going around, hooked it. Oh, terrible oh, kick in the end. It was a just... terrible kick, you know, but he really needed that one. I wrote through the week there that uh, with South in this game, they've got to join the party after Oki and Brothers uh, played so well last week and they're going, got their season on, on board here. So it's South's turn here and they showed that was pretty good stuff and they can complete their, sec their sets of six here. So we'll see what Gunder Windy's gonna, got up their sleeve here. They seem to be just... Um, Oh, they're just a bit, a bit lackadaisical or going to win you, but when the game's on, they really can get up a gear, can't they, Neville? They certainly can. They can go up quicker than any other side. As you see, Dave McGrady gets kick underway, and he reads it down and going under the middle of the post. Wade Austin, he's touched it, but he's knocked it back, which is fair enough, and the ball rolls under the post, and South Tigers bring it out 10 metres off, just adjacent to the upright. Hearn goes to dummy half, he's saying to the ref, and Aaron Williams, he's consistent all night. If they get penalised at the second effort, he'll penalise you for sure. So the Southern Suburbs are going to take the kick for the closest side to the green stand, and that's a gain of 20 metres, Obi. Yeah, look, game on the second half. You know, South have come to play, but it was a good uh, uh, restart there by Gundawindi. We'll see how these crunch tackles go in there, but well done by the young Tiger Tiger side. Whitaker to take the first ruck here in uh, Neville. Here he goes again for his very 15th hit up, and he goes back towards the middle of the field. He's trying to stand to get the ball away. They can't get him down. He's going to play the ball. Hearn goes out to the left-hand side there through Isaac Laird. He's going to be ripped back, and they hold him up there. He's trying to get the ball away, but they're not. They just hold him, work him over. Technically, very good side, the Gunner Windy Boars, and they roll him over onto his back to slow the ball down. Another penalty. They're right. You've got Alexander Ray looking back, going off at the referee, but, mate, he won't let you hang in there in the ruck there. He wants a quick game. Yeah, look, and he's got there Aaron Williams. He's saying to these guys, look, uh, and there's a bit of chat there. So Mark Offendale saying something, but uh, David McGrady coming up. Well, I don't know whether he's called up by the referee, but certainly referee Aaron Williams is actually laying down the law to, to David McGrady. And, uh, look, this is such an important uh, period of play, especially for the Tigers, if they can put the pressure on on here, boys, then it's anyone's game uh, for this period of time. 12 nil it was at half time. 12 4 is a kick on that far side. Oh, yeah, there'll be about 22 metres out from Gunder Windy's line there, Neville. Oh, he's a wonderful kicker. We're going to see Hartlitzing take the tap, and it'll be that man, Whitaker. He says, Give it here, I'll take his on. And up he goes and goes forward. A wonderful front roller. He makes a gain of 10 metres. They roll him over on his back. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. Hearn goes to dummy half, they come to the right side through Austin. Austin finds Isaac Laird coming back towards the middle of the post. 
He's rolled over on his back. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. He gets that. Hearn goes back to dummy half. They come to the right side. Austin comes out the back there. Does a step on the inside. Beats one, beats two, but he's been cleaned up by the gun to Windy. Defence. Hearn goes to dummy half. Oh, that's three tackles. Is that another penalty? Yeah. Hold him down. down. Someone's, someone's got to go to the bin for sure. Well, what do you do, Obi? Do you take the two or do you just keep the pressure no, on? No, you've got to put pressure on, I think. They're eight points down, so they're looking pretty well. It's Alexander Bit Ray. Of, uh, yeah. And he's given he's young given Alexander Ray 10 minutes there. But uh, again, look, it was three in a row. They've had uh, the, the 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 penalty count has been, uh, yeah, 4 nil at the thing. Here we go again, mate. N uh, Namana. Namana gets it on to Josh Ryan on this closer side of the touch line. They're tackled six metres out from the line, eight metres in from the touch line. Hearn goes to dummy half. He throws a wonderful ball to Namana. Namana gets it on to Whitaker. Whitaker throws a dummy. and He's going to be body slammed. He's going to be tackled 15 metres out just beside the post. Hearn to dummy half. He goes out and gets it on to Isaac Laird. Isaac Laird goes towards the post, rolls on his back, tries to get a quick play of the ball, which he does. Hearn to dummy half. He comes out the back there, gets it to Austin. Austin's looking for Austin. Straight on. Angus, that is, gets it to Austin. Austin gets it to Whittaker, coming back towards the middle of the field, finds the mark. Bounced it a bit, and we got the referee talking to the touchy, but he'll give, give the uh, give meat yep. tie. Look, it, I think it was a try as well, but look, great work by the Tigers. That puts them within four. Uh, that's a try of the match so far, but uh, uh, for the Tigers, that is. There were a couple of really good uh, balls tries, but for Toowoomba Sports Club. And uh, who's that try scorer there, mate? Young one? Benny Hale, out of the under-18s. I told you he'd go. Good on these young fellas. They haven't given up and they're really throwing the ball around at the moment. And look, good credit to Namana. He's had a he's got the ball on the string the second half. He scored a try and what a well placed kick and there was just no one at home for the balls. And that puts it at twelve points to eight after look ten minutes in the second half with that kick to come. Take us through it, Neville. Oh, we've got Angus Hearn, he's bringing the ball back twenty two meters over. It is literally twenty centimeters from the touch line. How's this for casual? He's talking to the referees, he comes back. So he's got an awkward kicking style, but he'll put this over, this young fella. He gives the jersey a bit of a shake and holds the mouth guard in his hand. Has another bit of a chat to Aaron Williams. Looks at the ball, looks at the post, moves in, stuff, strikes it nicely. It's on its way, it's going, but it's curling around. And, mate, he's just sliced it a little bit too much. So he's certainly a casual kicker, Obi. He certainly is. I thought he might have uh, learnt off his last kick, but it wasn't the best to kick that time. But it was right on the t on the touchline. But, look, yeah, look, they've got their tails in the air at the moment. But then again, they've been on the back of a couple of uh, oh, ill-disciplined penalties by the Boers because uh, referee uh, Aaron Williams, I don't know where put the Boers, but they just seem to be a bit tired at the moment. You know, they... They didn't want to finish off that first half, did they, Neville? Mate, they certainly didn't. They were on fire in that first half over. They started to find their groove. They've had the break. and I think they thought they'd just cruise along and it'd, just, it'd unfold for them, but it just hasn't. Some sort of stories have come out to play. As we see Dave McGrady take a kick off back to Hayden Packer and he gets it on to Whitaker, who comes flying through the middle of the field there and he makes a gain of 20 metres. He's going to try and get a quick play of the ball. As you see Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He goes to the left-hand side out there. Isaac Laird, who's been a wonderful player for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. He's been really busy. Angus Hearn goes back to dummy half. They go down the short side again. He gets it onto his Wade. Oh, so Wade. He's going to score. Wonderful try for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They're back in the game, Obi. They certainly, and right from the kickoff, the young Tigers and the crowd really loved that one. And uh, look, it was uh, young Austin, I think it was. He made the break on that far side. And look, hello. I don't know what was said at half time to the boys, but they were asleep on that other side. And Toowoomba Sports Club, and that'll put them. Uh, uh, Look, it's a drawn ball game at the moment. It's 12 all with that kick to come after that wonderful Toowoomba Sports Club try, the best of the night, Neville. Certainly a brilliant try, Obi. You can see the grandstand just shaking as it was going. Everyone was willing. I can even see C. Price down in the crowd. He was going, go, young fella, go, young fella. A wonderful try. The Tigers are back, Obi. If they can kick this goal, looks like they've changed kick and we've got young Ethan Hearn. He's, Angus said to his brother, you have a crack at it. I'm not going real good. And, mate, they're back in the game. Yeah, Leslie Harfinson, uh Look, it was uh, 
It was a pass to make. They're not always very uh, easy passes to make on the fly there by Wade Austin. And then he uh, he just had uh, young Les Harthingson on his on his shoulder there, gave him the ball, and he ran about oh, 25 metres. But it was right deep in the territory of the Tigers' uh, Neville. Here comes Ethan Hearn to kick. Looks like Piggy Riddell. He comes in, strikes it nicely, and... Mate, he's going to pump it out the other side. So between them both, they'll get someone else and they'll be able to put it through the middle of the post. That's three missed kicks. They're, they're just not good. It's not good enough for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They can come back to bite them. Yeah, not at this level. You've got to have a really good kicker in this competition. But it's a 12-all ball game at the present time uh, here for the Toowoomba Sports Club. And that was a uh, pretty poor kick for a good year uh, Pittsworth. So uh, it's game on at the moment. Hey, look, uh, it's just started like a house on fire. That's three try, three unanswered tries by the Tigers since half time. Neville just we go on body language all the time. Over, it's interesting to see the Gundawindis walk back after that try. And before they jog back, they're still in the game, but the whole side just walked back this time. So, maybe interesting set of six coming up to see Dave McGrady pump it down over towards that far corner or against the fence there and gets on to Austin. And Austin finds Hayden Packer coming back and he slams into them. They got their head. Tails up in the air, the Tigers. He's going to play the ball 15 metres out from his own line. He gets it on to that man, Whitaker, who's just been huge for the Southern Suburbs Tigers here tonight. He comes back towards the middle of the field. He looks to play the ball. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He's looking for his options. He comes to the right-hand side through Namana. Namana throws a wonderful ball to Ryan. Ryan gets it on the little Benny Howard over this side, but he's smart enough to go back. He only weighs 65 kilos, and he throws it back into Angus Hearn. Angus Hearn gets it back onto Namana. Namana jinks to the line and goes again. He looks like he's tumbled back as he hurt his knee or he's just lost his balance. He can't go down hurt. Namano's he's tackled. Hearn goes to dummy half and gets it on to Ethan Court. Ethan Court gets it on to Benham. Benham throws it out there to the 17 and Riley Wilson. Riley Wilson gets it on to the 14 for the Southern Suburbs. Tigers. He's Hearn. Harvick's and Hearn's down the far touch line. He does the smart thing. He comes back towards the line. He's going to be tackled five metres out. They're on the attack, the Southern Suburbs Tigers. They come back towards the middle of the field. The refs let it play. The six to go. Six, six to, to go. go. Great call. Corey Benham, he's going to go to dummy half. The Southern Suburbs Tigers, 11 metres out in front of the post. Jacob Whittaker skips to the line. He gives it over to Mickey Hazard, but he's dropped the ball. No. Mickey Hazard's gone for the ball and raked it loose, and the ref says play on over here. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, look, the Boar's defence just uh, were left in the shed at half time. It's 12 all with 25 minutes left in a ripper of a game here on Saturday night at Clyde Burkhoffer Stadium, Neville. So the Tribe goes to Dummy Half and he gets it on to Stewie Lowe. I think he's pumping forward 25 metres. Tribe goes back to Dummy Half and he gets it on to Callum Skinner. Callum Skinner hits it up and goes up the middle of the field. They're starting to find their groove again. This set of six. Tribe goes to Dummy Half and he gets it on to Offendale. He's a smart footballer, this guy. You'll check how quick he plays the ball. He plays the ball. They're 41 metres out there making easy yards in the middle of the field. 40-20. McGrady gets it back to this time. Oh. He scored it. Hayden Packer scored a wonderful ball. Yeah. You watch him. He comes flying back through the middle there. He gets cracked in half. And yeah. then Callum Skinner just snaps him in half. And he's got no fear at all over I tell you what, it was David McGrady going for the 40 20. Hayden Packer has taken a slips catch there about his 20. And he's brought it back to inside <laughs> the Boars territory. What a great return of kick there by Hayden Packer. Anyway, they're inside the 40 now, the Tigers. 12 all, 24 minutes left. Mate, we've got Angus Hearn, he's going to dummy half. They're going to go to the left-hand side, but he throws a little dummy, goes in behind the ruck, finds Dylan Court, he's nearly slipped through, but he's going to be tackled at the last moment, but Mickey has it, gets a quick play of the ball, they go to the short side, Namana gets a little Benny. Wumba Sports Club and uh, put that down to Angus Hearn. He saw the little gap there from dummy half. He went through it, gave it on to uh, onto court, you know, and then they saw it on this blind side here and they gave it on to, uh, to uh, Benny Howard. And you'll see that try replay there. Let's see if we got it up there again. No, it's not going to come for Power TV there. But uh, look, a great try. Here it is. Look, he gets out to Namana, who's been their best tonight. He got big ball out to Benny Howard. No one at home. Thanks very much. Just happens to be, I don't know who's on this wing for uh, the Boars. But look, uh, they thoroughly deserve their lead. Four unanswered tries. Four tries to two here, the Tigers, over the Boars. 
Still only four points in it in this kick, and looks like we've got Benny Howard to take this kick as uh, Angus Hearn's been relieved of his duty. <laughs> a Toowoomba Sports Club try. So if he scored, uh, going to try and convert his own. He's brought it back about oh, 25 metres. Yeah, He's about five metres in from the touch for this good year. Pittsworth goal there, Neville. Mate, he'll kick this over. He just looks like a kicker. He probably does the kicking in the under-18s, I'd say, but... Mate, he looks fairly well balanced. He only, he's come back about seven. He only steps one to the side as he comes in and strikes, and it's on its way. It's high. It's going. It's going. It's coming down. And Just mate, short. it was spot on, but it was short. So yeah, it was. You know, and uh, they've scored four unanswered tries. You see, 23 minutes left, uh, 16 points to 12. If you've just joined us around the grounds with Ned Cherry Pest Control, it was uh, Valley's 30 defeated Highfield's 20 in a, a very competitive game out there. Uh, Valley's got a, a head to 12 nil, then Highfield's 14 12 after half time, and then uh, Valley's get away with the, the game 30 points to 20. Benny Cook being the best player. Out there for tonight. Here's the restart at 16-12. The Tigers hit the front for the first time, Neville. I hope the balls are the real deal. They've got to get themselves back into the games to see Alexander Ray come back on the field after his sin binning. So they're back to the full compliment. See Dave McGrady kick it all the way down to Wade Austin. He gets it on to that man, Isaac Lee, and he just lumbers forward. And he's met by four Gundawindi defenders. He looks to get a quick play of the ball on his front. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. They go to the right. Here comes Jacob Whittaker. He's going to go the whole distance tonight, Jacob. He comes back towards the middle of the field. Angus Hearn to dummy half. He goes back to the left-hand side and gets it on to his brother, Ethan. Ethan lumbers forward, finds his front. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. He's getting up there. He plays it, goes back to Angus. They go to Tate McCormick on the left there. Tate just knows one way, and he goes forward. Wonderful set of six from the Southern Suburbs Tigers. That's the fourth tackle. Angus Hearn goes back to the short side, takes a little skip. He's out. He's back through the clear. He's looking for Wade Austin. Loom it up. Wade Austin comes back on the inside. He didn't see him. He would have been under the post. He looks to play the ball. They come to the blind there. Austin turns it back inside to him. He's going to go over and score. They're just doing it too easy. Angus Hearn dies over. Yep, he's going to give the try. I thought there might have been a little knock on there, Neville. But look, uh, too easy as we go. We're talking to the uh, referee is uh, Carl Clement there. He hasn't awarded the try yet. He's just about to, you would think, oh, and he yes, awards it now. You. So it's 20 points to 12 well, uh, the there man. as well. You know, and look, great work by Angus Hearn. Look, he showed some really good maturity this last five or ten minutes. He come out of dummy half. He made the break <laughs> into the line, he made, and away he went. And then he had, uh, I think he had Wade well, Austin. We've got, we got another player in the bin there, someone mouthing off. And Aaron Williams, to his credit, he doesn't put up with any crap. He's just, mate, you go for 10-2. I'm just trying to see... Yeah, it's Carl Clement, the Carl captain. Clement, yeah. yeah. Geez, can't go oh, he's actually that. sent him off now, I think. Yeah, I'd say so, because he's kept mouthing off, so... Yeah, Mate, look, that's, that's poor discipline there as well because, uh, look, Gunder Windy have a very talented side instead of letting themselves down there. Uh, he, uh, there was, uh, uh, when you think about it, Tigers made that break and it was a, a missed tackle or poor uh, defence. Uh, no sense going off there for the alleged knock-on because they made all that ground there. So ill-disciplined stuff by the Boers, 20 points to 12. And as oh, we got, Whitaker now, isn't it? We got Whitaker, so he's taken this side. They really need this kick. Yes, they need to kick it's it an eight-point ball game. In he comes, he kicks it. Do they finally get a kick? He's and they it. finally do. He's got it. So that makes five. it 22 points to, uh, to 12 here at uh, Clyde Burkhofer Stadium. And a boil over at the present time, you would think. An upset here, uh, looming for the Tigers. But look, I'll tell you what, the Bulls have not had any ball this first 20 minutes of the second half. And once they do, we'll see what they've got on. But it's been 22 unanswered points here for the Tigers there, uh, uh, Nap Cherry. Mate, I reckon I've only counted two or three times I've had the ball in this half. But it's just the ball security from the Southern Suburbs Tigers is just unbelievable. If you see Malcolm McGrady take the kick off this time and... He puts a little bit of a worm burner in trying to find that far touch line. That just reeks of desperation when they do that sort of stuff over. Yeah, well, there's still plenty of time left, you know. So it was about kick, uh, getting the ball and completing the sets of six, but it's a defence has really let them down. 19 minutes left, 22 points to 12. Uh, South over Gunda Windy here, uh, Neville. So we see Jacob Whitaker. He feeds it on to her, and then they'll be back to the halfway mark on the third tackle. 
the southern suburbs, Tigers, Angus Hearn, he goes to dummy half, he skips out and gets it to Jacob Whitaker. He goes back towards behind the ruck there and just gets over the halfway mark. They're directly in the middle of the field there. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half, they go to the right, gets it on to Namana, Namana gets it on to Josh Ryan, Josh Ryan gets it on to little Benny Howard. He's smart enough to go back in towards and not get tangled over the sideline here. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. Josh Ryan saying, come on, sir, quick. Gets it to Namana, Namana puts a huge kick up. This will test David McGrady out, but... He cleans it up, back off his own line. He's a casual sort of a character. But look at the defence for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Yeah, I can tell you what. I I just make it that this is only the second carry in the second half for the Boars. Yep. You know, because there's been about seven or eight carries there for sets of six put from the Tigers. Let's see what they can do. 22 points to 12. Still heaps of time left in this Coomba Sports Club match of the day here, Neville. Looks like Garrett's gone back to dummy half for the Boars. He gets to go to the right-hand side. He finds Offendale. Offendale comes out back in behind the ruck there. Makes great ground. He's looking for support. He gets the ball away. Back over to Jarrett. Jarrett's dummies. He goes back up the middle. This is where the Southern Suburbs Tigers are going to get their defence in order. Mickey has it. Goes to dummy half. He takes a scoot. He goes in back oh. behind the ruck. And he just gets snapped in half by the Southern Suburbs defence. Smallest fella there running into the biggest fella. Jacob Whittaker, Neville. Mate, he's certainly tough. So we've got Dennison taking a ruck in behind the ruck there. They're playing down the middle of the field there. It's the fifth and last. Jarrett goes to dummy half. Finds Dave McGrady. He comes back to the blind side. Throwing dummies. He goes through. This one, he's going towards the post. He's looking for support. Oh, great tackle. Back, great tackle. What a wonderful tackle there from Hayden Packer on McGrady. Looks like he's going to score. And they've dropped the ball at the last moment, Obi. Yeah, he's got the offside there for South. It's a penalty oh, to, to the Boers there. But look, uh, look, it's that type of game. Just the... Floodgates opening there for Tigers uh, there as well. I think they've forgotten how to tackle because they had the ball so much in the second half. Anyway, we're 20 metres out. The uh, ball's with the ball here, Neville. Oh, they got to line up. But anyway, here comes that man, the Yank Tank Offendale. He just lumbers forward and takes uh, Yeah, fair enough. They tip him over the horizontal. They get penalised again, which is fair enough. You just can't do that sort of stuff. Yeah, right, Offendale staying in. I missed that. Oh, getting a bit I just wonder whether you can get that on replay. Can we... Uh, uh, there, Barry. No, he can't. Is that Cole or Alexander? No, Ray? it's a Mark Offendale who's down. But uh, the headgear, he's mouthing off a little bit to the South players, firing them up. So they can't afford to lose him. He's a wonderful leader of the Gunner Whitney Boar. So he looks like he's in a bit of a bad way. He's trying to get up and. Mate, you can't muck around with stuff like that, Obi, can you? Yeah, well, I missed it, actually. You're, you saw Mate, the it, I, I did. It, it, it didn't look malicious. It's just how it sort of fell, but he sort of fell down head first. And, mate, he's coming off. <laughs> I think he's got more of a leg injury than a, than a neck injury, but, but we just don't want that sort of stuff in our game, Obi, and players know that. So. Anyway, here's the restart here, we here Neville. Mate, the Gunner Windy boys go on the attack with Callum Skinner. He goes towards the post. He's going to be tackled five metres out. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He's coming back. He's going to find Alexander Ray coming back. He's nearly sneaking through, but he's going to be tackled. Jarrett goes to dummy half again. He's looking for his options. He's got little Mickey Hazard out the back. He gets the ball. He turns it back on the inside to Rick McGrady, I think, but he's going to be tackled two metres out. He's just five metres from the goalpost. They go to the open side, throws a dummy out of dummy half and just goes nowhere. The Southern Suburbs Tigers are all over. Going to be penalised. He said he's gone too soon, Dylan Court. Yeah, well, he must have called them because he's called them. Here's a Here they go. No, no, no they go call him back. Restart there. <laughs> James Tedesco. He just... They just lost their rhythm, the Gunner Windy Boars, Obi. They yeah, just... but they still look dangerous. But they've only got 12 men. and Plus, they've got Offendale out off uh, their coach and also their captain. So Jared takes a tap. He gets it on to McGrady. McGrady's going to take the tackle right in front of the post. He's going to be tackled five metres out. Jared to dummy half. He goes to the right hand side again through Callum Skinner. Skinner lumbers. To... He's lost the ball. The tackle. Turns going to go to dummy half. What do they go down the short side? Gets it to his brother Ethan. He throws oh. the dummy. Oh man, he's still going. Oh look at the little winger over there. He's going off. But he's going to take the tackle. They made 45 metres. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. He gets it on to Hartnick's in again. And he's going to be lumber forward. And he makes a gain of six metres. He's going to be tackled. They're just over the halfway. They go down the short side there. And it's Angus Hearn. He beats one, beats two. Tumbles to the ground. and keeps going. Wonderful run. He's tackled. He's 31 metres out from his own try line. Hearn to dummy half. He comes back to the right hand through Whitaker. Whitaker finds the man around the back. He gets it on to Dylan Court. Dylan Court goes to the line. But he's going to be wrapped up by Mickey Hazard. They're 35 metres out from their line. He's 10 in from touch. Ryan goes to dummy half. He sneaks down the blind. He's trying. He gets it to Benny Howard. Benny Howard skips back on the inside and runs into Malcolm McGrady. And Malcolm McGrady just monsters him. He says, come here, young fellow. He's yeah, going to be worked tackle. over. Fifth and last, Dylan Court goes to dummy half. 
We're looking for Namanas. What's he going to do here? Gets a terrible ball. Puts a huge kick and a woeful Ooh. kick. It goes back towards Ethan Hearn. He lets it bounce. It goes over that far touch line. And the gun to He picks it up, Ethan Hearn. He just throws it out to Angus. Angus gets it on to Harvickson. Harvickson throws it back around to Austin. But the ball's to ground. It's rolling. What's the ref going to do here? Knock on. Oh, man. What play over here? Oh, it was. They made something out of nothing there. It was a terrible kick. I think they were all offside. Uh, South Tigers, they played the advantage anyway. There was a half break made. I didn't see that play. I think it was caught, and it came through, and they nearly scored again. 22 points to 12 with 14 minutes left. There's a player down there. So referee has stopped the play at the present time. That suits South better, just so they can reshape, get themselves going. That's where Gunderwind is dangerous, <coughs> Obi. When they got you on the back foot, and you're a sixes and sevens, they'll burn you real bad. So... This plays, I think it's Ethan Hearn after he's gone to catch that ball and got tackled. Yeah, it probably has, but look, uh, uh, look, Gunderwindy have not had the ball. They've only had it for a, two or three sets of six this second half, and anything can happen once you've got one player by the name of David o Mc McGrady out there, that's for sure. But they've lost Carl Clement. He was sent off, and then uh, Offendale's gone off injured, So, and they've only got 12 men balls. If they win from this, it'll be pretty good. Gutsy, I can tell you. Still, Tigers in front, 22-12 with uh, 14 minutes left here, Neville. I see Alexander Ray take a wonderful hit to the middle of the field. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He finds Callum Skinner comes out wide off the ruck but comes in behind the middle there again. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Finds his front. Jarrett to dummy half. Gets to Mickey Hazard looking for option. He turns it back inside to Munro. Munro's going to be tackled 35 metres out from his own, try own defensive line. Jarrett goes to dummy half. He turns it back over to Callum Skinner. Takes his second hit up. He goes to the middle of the field. They're going to try and stretch him on that far side. Jarrett to dummy half. He finds Dave McGrady. Dave McGrady finds... It's Jarrett. Jarrett down the side there. Turns, kicks it back inside to Davis. They're going to, uh, Hayden Pack has picked it up. I thought the ball was going to go on a touch, touch, but he's picked it up and he's going to be tackled. A high tackle is going to be ruled. So the yeah, South, high tackle yep. by Tommy Davis over there. Yep. So... They will let off the hook there, the, the Tigers there, because I tell you what, when the Bulls get the, the ball, they're looking very, very dangerous, aren't they, Neville, with uh, 30 minutes left, 22-12, Tigers in front. They certainly are. And they Is it enough, mate? Oh, you, you can't say that. Against these fellas, McGrady, they'll put two in you in the matter of five minutes. So, mate, they've got to hang in there. They can't be thinking like that. They've got to play that attacking football. I go back to halftime, maybe. But they, they just wanted to attack them, attack them. They didn't get the result, but they, this is the mentality they wanted the players. We see Southern Suburbs take the touch, gets it to Angus Hearn. Angus Hearn gets it on to Isaac Laird. Isaac Laird pumps it over that far touch line. He's going to be tackled 10 metres in from touch over there on near the halfway. Ethan Hearn comes in for a run, and he's going to be crunched by the gun to Windy Falls. I think it's Mitch defense. Murphy, I Mitch think. Mitch Murphy, man. sorry, you're correct there. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half, gets it on to Austin. Turns back to Whitaker, who dummies to him, gets it on to Namana. Namana gets it on. To Ryan, Ryan gets it on to Benny Howard. He's looking to take him on the outside, but he's smart enough not to take him on the outside. And McGrady will put him in the touch. Josh Ryan goes to dummy half. He gets it on to Fossil. Haven't seen him for a little while. He lumbers forward. He's a strong runner. He's still going. They can't get him down. He's still standing. He's going to be tackled 25 metres out. 10 metres in from touch. Hearn goes to the left-hand side. Gets it on to Austin. Austin's looking for Austin. He's split him. He's gone. He's falling And he just made the break and he let's have a look at it on the replay for Power TV. He does a little dummy, then he gets through, stands up, walk his step. He's untouched and he gives it to Jacob Whitaker, the, ca the captain, and he'll score. That makes it 26 points to 12 there. And I tell you what, I think it more oh, probably enough, but you never know there. But a, a wonderful moment for South Tigers as far as their season is concerned as well, you see. So it's only their second home game of the year. They went down narrowly in their first home game to Oakey. You know, they beat Brothers even brothers beat Warwick. I can't work out this competition, <laughs> I tell you what, Neville. But a wonderful Trauma Sports Club try, 26 points to 12, with the kick to come really close to the post there. Uh, Neville. Jacob Whittaker, he deserved that try, Obi. He's toiled away all night. Him and Isaac Laird, but they just led from the front, gone forward all the time. Austin's been great for him, but Namana, he stepped up. He's the ball player for him. Wherever he touches the ball, I'd nearly say every try scored tonight has come through Namana. Something he's done to play before. Yeah, he's that's exactly, exactly right. You know, so 
I just think it what a wonderful uh, uh, try it is. But uh, look, uh, Jacob Whitaker taking it back oh, 18 minute, uh, metres right in front. I wouldn't have taken it back that far. <laughs> uh, but uh, he got the last one from out wide. In he comes. Pittsworth goal. He puts it over. 28 points to 12. And when, when you think about it, it's 28 points by the Tigers in the second half. It was 12 nil. So what a turnaround in this Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day here, Neville. You know the best part about this, Ovi? What's I that? I tipped them. Yeah. I tipped them. So, I, was, I tipped brothers last week too. I should have taken them again. And week, you actually really, you did, mate, because you uh, uh, got the most tips last week, and I don't know how, because you've been <laughs> uh, last, doing like some it. real shockers. But here's a restart. Let's go. see Melbourne if they can McGrady. really get their act together, the Boars here. Neville? McGrady kicks it down to Austin, gets it on that man, Isaac Laird, and he lumbers forward again. Makes some great um, round and lays a wonderful foundation for the Southern Suburbs Tigers. Angus Hearn goes to dummy half. They come to the right edge in the middle of the field there this time, and it's young Riley Wilson. He, he hits and spins and takes a tackle. Hearn to dummy half, gets on to Whitaker. Whitaker gets it on to Josh Ryan. He's been a little bit quiet, but he lumbers forward, and he gets a gain of 10 metres. They're up to nearly the halfway. Angus Hearn comes to the short side there, and... Finds Hayden Packer, and he just knows one way, this Hayden Packer, yeah, and he just goes forward. Well. So he gets a quick play of the ball. It goes back to the middle of the field through Jacob Whitaker this time for his 25th hit-up. He's tackled directly on the halfway. They're looking to get a great kick here. Angus Hearns looking for Jazz Namana tucked in behind the middle of the ruck there. He puts a wonderful kick down. It's going back. It's going to go back over the top of Brown's head. He goes towards the middle of the post, just a casual run. But look at the defence from the Southern Suburbs Tigers, Obi. Yeah, very, very good chase there late in the match. We were talking about uh, it on on uh, the footy show where this Tigers side only playing for 30 minutes each half. I don't think that's going to be this this uh, this game as there's a relieving penalty for the Boars for offside uh, there by the Tigers, Neville. Mate, just their body language from the Tigers, Obi. They, they look really, really well. They look really keen, really structured. Mate, they've just got to hang on here this last five, ten minutes. So they don't deserve to be scored against. They've played that well, the Tigers. So, mate, we're going to go see the Gundawindi Boars go on the attack. Well, they need three tries, the Boars, in eight minutes. A big ask here with 12 men. So Callum, Callum Skinner hits it up. He's 40 metres out from the try line. Jarrett and Dami half and finds them. McGrady coming back in behind the ruck there. He's looking to get a quick play of the ball. Jarrett's saying, run to the middle there, Munro. But it's going to be... Oh, he's dropped it in the play of the ball. Oh, silly mistake. That's just the tail of the Gunder Windy Boars. Knights just making crucial areas, crucial areas at crucial times, Obi. And especially in the second half, they seem to be cruising more so in the when they were 12-0 at half time, didn't they, Neville? And I thought they were just... Well, not cocky, but they're just probably too confident for me, you know. And then they've come out in the second half and they just rattled and making these unforced errors, which has been plaguing the city. Look, it's an important game here for the Boars. They're level on uh, on the fifth position with Gatton and Oki here. You know, in this game, you would uh, think that they would be the favourites here. So it's an upset here by, by South leading by 16 points with seven and a half minutes left here, uh, uh, Neville. Huge upset, Obi, but they've... Mate, they've earned this win. They've laid a great foundation and they've been leading for this about the last eight weeks, Obi, and they've had some shockers, but they've played some really good football and just come together tonight for them as we see young Austin feed the scrum and Hayden Packer take it off the back of the scrum. He's going to be tackled directly in front of the post, 35 metres out from his own line. We've got Namana going to dummy half. He's saying, come on, fellas, who's going to take it forward? And there's that man, Isaac Laird. He lumbers forward. He's been one of their best tonight too. Hearn goes to dummy half. He's looking for options. He goes back to the left there. We, Kai Bennett, he lumbers forward, and he makes a great run of a gain of 10 metres there. Whittaker's saying, give it here, give it here, I'll have it, but Hearn takes it from dummy half. They go down that blind side to Austin, turns it back on the inside of Whittaker, but he's going to be wrapped up by the gun to Windy Boar's defence. Hearn goes to dummy half, he comes to the open side this time. It's Laird, he's taking the second one, this set of six, he lumbers forward again. They've got fifth and last tackle here, what's Hearn going to do? This is where gain management comes into Obie, they just pump it over the touch line. It comes back there, he does, he goes to the blind, throws the dummy again, Hearn! Front row or a centre over? Oh, I don't know, but he's uh, sort of turned turned my book there because I think he's just taken over now. Jazz Demana as the player of the match, actually, with that yep. second try. And look, he has not only done that, but he's led. Let's have a look at it on the Repower F uh, TV. And hasn't Angus Hearn played well? Look, and here's Jacob Whitaker. 
And look from a captain's knock, what a wonderful try uh, there. And it's been all the Tigers and Gundam when you've imploded uh, this second half, you know. And uh, just just what the belief with this Tigers, I was just about to say, you were saying before, Neville, how the win was going to be very, very good for the South, and it was uh, 28 points to 12, and I thought, no, nah, we won't hang up the boots now, but now we will. This is a great win by the Tigers here for that Toowoomba Sports Club try there by their captain, Jacob Whitaker. Neville. Mate, he's kicking goals. He's taking rucks up over. He's just best game I've seen Jacob play. He's, he can consider himself unlucky not to be in that Toowoomba side, the Clydesdale side. He's just a wonderful player, wonderful front row as he comes in and moves and smacks it right over. Oh, he's missed it! Oh, he's missed it. Wow. Here we are, because we were wrapping him up, Obi. That's we why. We were, mate. In fact, uh, uh, well, they had the score wrong. They actually put it up there that he'd got it, but he's missed it. <laughs> Can you tell them that the score's wrong? You actually missed that one. Thanks, guys. So it's 32 points to 12 here. And uh, we've got a 20-point ball game with four and a half minutes left. And uh, look, a sad and sorry gun to Windy side at the present time. Uh, they've come here and been taught a lesson by this young, this young Tigers side, uh, and I think. Yeah, but anyway, here's out. a kick off with uh, Malcolm McGrady. He's got a score! Holy <laughs> moly! Wow. Let's have a look at that one. And he's just done a he little grubber off. there. He's, he's done a little grubber, and I don't. And oh, oh touch and go! <laughs> but the touches were there. Got, picked it up after the 10 meter line. He goes through himself. He caught them napping. He throws a dummy to Sampson. And then he'll go through and he'll score a nice individual try, you'll agree with me, Neville. Most definitely, Obi. Have you ever seen that before? Where you <laughs> kick the ball off, pick it up and you go and score. First time I've ever seen in my rugby league. No, exactly right. You know, with four minutes left, a bit of respectability back in. They kicked the extras, Adam Tribe, to make it 32 points to 18. Still too much oh, of a lead oh, for oh, me oh, with oh. Uh, under four minutes left uh, here, Neville. Mate, I'd, I'd agree with you, Obi, but just it's gun to win, you remember, McGrady. This is where they do their best stuff, four minutes from full time or half time. So, but uh, hopefully we'll just see the the Tigers. They I hate seeing sides do this. Over you walk back from the kickoff. I just I just don't think it's good for our game. It doesn't look like you're keen. But anyway, mate, they've just got to hang hang tough, stay in shape for another three and a half minutes. We see Aaron. But the referee has um, uh, stopped the clock there, which I like out. to see. You yep. see, so. But stopped. then, uh, gun to windy are ready. Keep in mind they've had twelve men for yeah, good part of the second. Second half, haven't they, Neville? They certainly have. And as we see, one of the players sent off for descent. And now Angus Hearn's going to get kicked back, uh, play back underway. That's a huge kick back down on the end goal taken by Dave McGrady. And he, he's going to give it to the, the 17. 17 in Alexander Ray. Dennison, Dennison. So Jarrett goes to dummy half, throws a terrible pass, and gets it to Callum Skinner. But Callum Skinner picks it up and he goes towards the middle of the field. He's going to be tackled 22 metres out in front of his post. Jared goes to dummy half, goes down the blind side there. Goes down the blind side there and he's going to be tackled. Ten in from touch on that far line. Jared goes back to dummy half. Callum Skinner's going to take his second hit up towards the middle of the field there. Oh, 40 metres out directly in front of the post. Jared to dummy half, he goes back to the short side. McGrady throws a wonderful ball out there to the little winger Davis over there. He picks it up around his bootlegs and shimmies and shakes back to the middle of there, 10 metres from the touch line. Jared goes to dummy half, they're looking to come back towards the middle of the field. Puts a huge kick up over there to the far little winger over there in uh, Austin's over, got the headgear over there. He gets it to Hayden Packer. Hayden Packer comes across field, gets away from one little Benny Hale, positions himself, gets the ball nicely, comes down the touchline, heads back in field, and he's just going to take the ball down. He watch, he doesn't lose it there, so South go on the attack. They've got to hang on. We've got a minute and 50 seconds to go. Benny Howard plays it. Packer goes to dummy half and gets it to Josh Ryan. Josh Ryan comes back in behind the ruck and just plays it safe and takes the tackle. Packer to get dummy half. He gets it over there to Namana. Namana's looking for options. He gets it to Isaac Laird. He takes it to the middle of the field. This is where the Southern Suburbs Tigers, you've got to keep manning up. They've got a minute, 30 seconds to go. Laird's going to play. It hangs Hearn to dummy half. He goes to the blind side there in Wade Austin. Wade Austin just goes forward. He's going to be tackled 39 metres out from his own line, 10 metres from the far touch line. Hearn brings it back to the middle, and who's taking it up for the Southern Suburbs Tigers? Is that man, Whitaker? Well, he's playing the whole game. This is uh, 79 minutes he's played so far, Neville, so a, a good captain's knock. Anyway, here's uh, Wade Austin puts the ball on the air. McGrady's going to take it on the full 30 metres off his own line. He just casually goes up to the defensive line. He's looking to take the tackle, and 
South, Sun Suburbs Tigers are all over him. We've got Davis, he's going to go to dummy half. He's looking, he's going to give it to Callum Skinner. No, Dummies goes himself and just tucks in, but the markers clean him up. Jarrett goes into dummy half. Callum Skinner says, give it here this time, I'll take it. He throws a bit of a dummy, gets starts to go through the line, but the Southern Suburbs Tigers are all over him. We've got 46 seconds to go. Jarrett, but now Adam Troy is going to go to dummy half, and they're going to get the penalty for second effort in the play the ball. Yeah, they have, you know, but... Uh Still 37 seconds is going to be a, 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 a good win here for the Tigers. I think it's a bit of a coming come of age win here uh, today by this young Tigers uh, side. 32 points to 18, 24 seconds left, Nev. Mate, it's been a wonderful effort from the Southern Suburbs Tigers. And as I touched on, they, they built the win from the start, Obi. Just their defence and just their body language. You see young Hassan puts a little chip in and it's going to be charged down by Hayden Packer, but the ref's going to call it back. I thought he might have let it play on, but uh, Foster charged it down and... Aaron Wilson, I think he's had a wonderful game tonight. And the Hoot is going to go 3 2 1, and that the players have had enough. Who'd be your 3 2 1, Obi? Well, certainly, I think you and I both agree that it'd be Jacob Whitaker. And what a great captain's knock, a great front rower's knock. And he scored tries, and uh, he was just everywhere, you know. And for the two points, I think Callum Skinner was uh, the one that toiled along for um, a gun to Wendy. He was always there to take it up and. Uh, you know, I saw him in the second half, and irrespective of the 32 unanswered points in that second half, you know, he was really, really good uh, there. And for the one point, well, you give it to another, but I think with the game management of Jazz Namana, I think he was probably the best. Do you disagree with me, mate? No, I agree 100%. I yes. nailed it there. Just Jazz Namana, he, just, he was there. Erhern played good, Laird played good, but Jazz Namana, he was the one that got him on the front foot, and when it really counted... Yep. When the points had to be scored, he was the man that stood up for him. Yeah, he certainly was. So our Morangadan Pub player of the match is Jacob Whitaker. And I'll see if I can find this little... Uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, this voucher for Nev to do that. We might let you go, Nev. You had a great call, mate. You've got right, uh, Obi, right. pl plenty of, plenty of um, um, uh, videos, interviews to do for Toowoomba Rugby League, uh, uh, Neville. And I think you'll find a very happy Tigers camp. And I think you'll need to get to Gundawini <laughs> first, mate, because I'll probably be gone by the time you get there. Mate, so, um... They won't be happy. So. Yeah, that's right. So we give it to Jacob Whitaker, a very, very popular. And he's deserved it. He's played very, very well this season. He's always been in the points. Um, uh, Neville. Uh, uh, Neville. So, look, uh, he's our Morangadan uh, Hotel uh, player of the match. And then, look, around the grounds with... Uh, Neb Cherry Pest Control. And we saw Valleys keep on their winning way. Had a bit of a tough game out there at Cools Road uh, against Highfields. Uh, they led 12 0. Uh, Highfields come back 12, uh, 14 12, a couple of minutes into the second half. And Valleys, they got it by 30 points to 20 out there at Cools Road uh, in a tough match. And congratulations to, uh, to Valleys. And they go up the ladder. Uh, there it was an important game here for Gundawindi against Southwick. Uh, Gundawindi were uh, in equal fifth position. They were probably fifth position on four and against, and they can't, they've lost the match here by 32 points to 18 over over a, 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 a very young and determined South side. They were very very clinical. Their completion rate was excellent, and they really much did deserve to win in the lower grades. In second division, we had a walk over there between Texas and Valleys uh, out there. Valleys only having nine players. Congratulations to Valleys for, for keep playing there out there at Texas. In under 18, it was South Burnett, 86 12 over Oakey. Gunder Windy, they did the upset here at uh, Clyde Burkhoff uh, Stadium because they have got um, something to take away from the day with Gunder Windy under 18s winning 26 points to 18. In under 18s out there at Cools Road, it was Highfields 20, uh, Valleys 12. And then in uh, reserve grade, Gunder Windy 50 points to 12 over South, and Valleys 22 to 4 winners over Highfields out there at Cools Road. And as I said, it was uh, Valleys 30 defeated Highfields uh, 20. And uh, out here, we had a wonderful game here between. South and Gundawindi. It was 12 nil at half time. Gundawindi were leading. And then South with try, two tries to um, Jacob Whitaker, who was our Morangadan Hotel player of the match. Two tries to Ben Howard. One to uh, uh, Jazz Namana. 
and also one to Leslie Harvardson and uh, Jacob Whittaker got two goals. So it was, what, six tries uh, to three in the end and they only got two goals. So the score probably didn't reflect how well they actually played. So it was a wonderful day here for um, uh, for the, the South Tigers. And look, uh, all we can say is, uh, is, is that tomorrow we'll be down at Carl Park uh, Sporting Complex where we'll see Gatton play Waddles in the Hutchies Builders match of the round. But uh, look, it's all Tigers at the present time. What a wonderful win. Congratulations to the, to the club in rugby league football, the greatest game of all.